Don't worry, little friend. We'll make sure we find your home. Another nest. Maybe this is its home. Oh, no! We have to save it. I can't climb this tree. I'll use my propeller. No, Leo. The propeller might hit the squirrel. Use your jetpack instead. You're right, Katie. Here I go. Oh, no! It's too late. The plantain squirrel. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, this is my collection of seeds. Seeds come from plants, and they make the same plants. Seeds come in many different shapes, colors, and sizes. <coughs> I want to sort all of them into these bowls. The small ones go here, the long ones go here, and the big ones go into the last bowl. Hey, are you eating my seed collection? Hmm, I think it's a squirrel, but it sounds like a little bird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Are you there? I think we found a squirrel in the garden. It sounds like a bird. Hi, Leo. What a cute little squirrel. The sound it makes is called chittering. So, a squirrel chitters. Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great, and coming up. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. I sure did. It seems that the squirrel you found is a plantain squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in trees, and they belong to a group of squirrels called tree squirrels. As a tree squirrel, the plantain squirrel is a very good climber. Its curved claws provide a good grip when it climbs trees. It uses its long and bushy tail for balance when it jumps from place to place. The tail of our squirrel doesn't look very long and bushy. That's because it's very young. It's only around five to six weeks old. Baby squirrels at this stage are around half the size of an adult squirrel. I see. So what kind of food do plantain squirrels eat? Normally, plantain squirrels eat fruits, seeds, insects, and sometimes even bird eggs. But since the squirrel you found is still a baby, it needs to feed on its mother's milk to grow into a strong adult squirrel. Plantain squirrels live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Then let's go there and return the baby squirrel to its nest and mother, since it still needs proper care and food. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought along a young plantain squirrel with you today. The plantain squirrel is very quick and agile in trees. They are able to jump a few meters between trees, and they rarely wander on the ground. It likes to stay on my hat. Hey, the baby squirrel's gone. There it is. It's eating the tree bark. Actually, the young plantain squirrel is chewing the tree bark. 
Chewing bark and twigs helps the squirrel to sharpen its teeth. Normally, baby squirrels use the bark and twigs from their nest. So I guess this young squirrel really needs to get back to its home. But where can we find its nest? Plantain squirrels' nests can be found in the crooks or hollows of tall and leafy trees. So they are in high, safe places that are away from predators on the ground. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here are some short trees without leaves. And on this side are a lot of tall and leafy trees. Do you know where we should go? Over there are some short trees without leaves. And over there are a lot of tall and leafy trees. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go there because plantain squirrels like to build their nests high up in the tall leafy trees where it's safe. Let's go! What do you see, Leo? There's a nest up in that tree. Maybe it belongs to the baby squirrel's family. Come on, everybody. Let's have a look. It doesn't seem very friendly. It's flicking its tail and chittering very loudly. It's trying to scare us away. This nest must belong to that squirrel. I guess we should keep looking. Don't worry, little friend. We'll make sure we find your home. Another nest. Maybe this is its home. Oh, no! We have to save it! I can't climb this tree. I'll use my propeller. No, Leo. The propeller might hit the squirrel. Use your jetpack instead. You're right, Katie. Here I go. Oh, no! It's too late! Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Welcome to the game show on everyone's lips. It's time for... Contestants want to answer questions on the world. Get it right, and they will win an all expense paid trip to Triangle Aliens Planet. Joining us today are our mistress of melody, Cherry, friendly fixer upper, Fluffy, and the imp. Today's first topic is mystery country. Whoever solves the question will be one step closer to our grand prize. Not to worry, because everyone gets to walk away with loads of fun today! So if everyone is ready, where in the world is this? Your first clue is... Carnival! The biggest carnival event in the world! Wearing masks and costumes, you can find parades and over 500 street parties all over the country! Oh, so close! Your second clue is... This purple berry produced here is called acai. They call it a superfood. Acai bowls have been dubbed the world's best healthy breakfast, even though it looks like ice cream. Cherry, you are correct! Today's mystery country is... Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Shh. Whee! Whoosh! Woohoo! <laughs> now you're full of energy, Tim. It's not Tim, Paula. I'm the Flying <laughs> Tim, the greatest superhero of all time. Oh, what's your superpower, Tim? I mean, the Flying Tim? Huh? Billy, it's flying, of course. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Flying Tim, there are some cookies for everybody on the table. Cookies? Here I go! Whoosh! Huh? Tim ate all the cookies. Tim, why didn't you wait and share? What? 
Oh, sorry. I forgot. I got hungry from all the flying. I'll get it. Paula speaking. Paula, it's Mr. Garden Gnome. We had a bit of an accident, and now we lost all our magic. Oh, and we're also floating. Floating? That does sound like a problem. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right over. Sure. We'll just hang around. They're floating? You mean like flying? I'm not sure, Tim. So let's find out in the big garden. Whoa, cool! You guys are flying! What happened? Oh, I was working on a new donut recipe, but when the others walked in, it exploded! That's when we started floating and our magic powers disappeared. No worries, Mr. Garden Gnome. Let's help you find that cure. Wonderful! We've collected all our magic books, hoping the cure is in one of them. Sure, we can help with that. Hey, Bubbles, do you think you can make that donut explosion again? Huh? Why would you want me to do that? Um, to find a cure. Yeah, if you show me what you did, then maybe we can figure out a cure. Oh, that makes sense. Follow me. You sure this is going to explode? For the donut recipe, I was supposed to add three mushrooms. But when the others walked in, I accidentally dropped in one more. Three mushrooms? And one more? That's four mushrooms. Let's add them. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh. <sighs> I haven't found a cure yet. <gasps> what was that? Woohoo! I can fly! <sighs> Bubbles, what did you do? We made another explosion hoping to find a cure. And did you find a cure? Um, <laughs> not really. Tim, did you trick Bubbles? I am the Flying Tim, the greatest superhero ever. But we haven't found a cure yet, Tim. Ha! No worries, Billy. I can fly forever. I will never get bored and tired. I'm bored and tired. Well, I still didn't find any cure. Me neither. And we went through all the books. We can read them again then. Sorry, Billy. Time for us to go home. But what am I supposed to do? You're going to have to live with it, Tim, and hope we do find a cure. Oh, okay. You coming, Tim? Huh? <laughs> yeah. oh, wait up, guys! Four, three, two, one. Here I come. I found you already, Tim. Again. Ugh, flying is really hard and slow. I don't want to play hide and seek anymore. Okay, Tim. What do you want to play then? Don't know, but first I need to go to the toilet. <sighs> okay, Tim. I was the last one, so it's your turn now, Calc. Hurry, Calc! I need to go badly! This is getting tiring, Paula. Yeah, let's visit Mr. Garden Gnome and see if he found a cure. I'm done! <sighs> <laughs> Mr. Garden Gnome, you're not floating anymore? Hello, children. <gasps> what happened to your hair? Ah, yes, we actually found a cure. But as a side effect, 
We've lost all our hair. Hi, everyone! And our magic still hasn't returned. It could come back any second now. Or it could take years. Oh, well, too bad. I'm not taking that cure. I'd rather keep my hair. Huh? <coughs> the hair grows back. And we're tired of bringing you to the bathroom. Nuh uh, not gonna happen. <coughs> Huh, I think I know what to do. Donuts for everyone! Yay! Yummy! Donuts? Awesome! Here, I... Come! Nom, 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 huh? nom, nom, nom. You guys ate all the donuts? Why didn't you wait and share? Oh, sorry, Tim. We forgot. If only you took that cure. <gasps> Using donuts to trick me? I can't believe it. I will never take that cure now. Careful of the wind up there, Tim. Wind? What wow? Uh, guys, some help here? Oh, dear. <laughs> the wind's too strong. Mr. Garden Gnome, we really need your magic now. It still hasn't returned. Wow! Ah! Ah! Cloud, get up that tree! Quickly! Help isn't high enough for Tim. I promise I'll take that cure if you just get me down! <laughs> huh? We're very happy to hear that, Tim. Please let me keep my hair. Please let me keep my hair. We took five drops of potion to cure our floating. We could try to give Tim one less. Then maybe his hair won't disappear. Five drops, but one less? That would be four drops. Open up, Tim. One, one two, two, three, three four. four. <gasps> it worked. And... I still have all my hair! Woohoo! Uh-oh! What do you mean, uh-oh? <gasps> Tim, your eyebrows! My eyebrows? What about them? Bubbles, look! Our magic is back! Friends, no despair! Let's return all our hair! <gasps> Phew! No more floating for me! I promise! <laughs> <laughs> Number of the day. Four mushrooms. Four drops of potion. Dance with cow. Welcome back! What do you see, Leo? There's a nest up in that tree! Maybe it belongs to the baby squirrel's family. Come on, everybody. Let's have a look. It doesn't seem very friendly. It's flicking its tail and chittering very loudly. It's trying to scare us away. This nest must belong to that squirrel. I guess we should keep looking. Don't worry, little friend. We'll make sure we find your home. Another nest. Maybe this is its home. Oh, no! We have to save it! I can't climb this tree. I'll use my propeller. No, Leo. The propeller might hit the squirrel. Use your jetpack instead. You're right, Katie. Here I go. Oh, no! It's too late! 
was amazing, Baby Squirrel. That was exciting. I guess we better go somewhere else. So what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the Baby Squirrel's home, just look for a chittering nest. Not for a treasure chest or a colorful vest, but look for a chittering nest. I see. So not for a treasure chest or a colorful vest, but, but look, look for, for a, a chittering, chittering nest. nest. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the baby squirrel's home, you have to look for a chittering nest. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the plantain squirrel's home. Could that be the baby squirrel's home? Hmm, that doesn't sound like chittering. And the plantain squirrel nests are up in the trees, not in the ground. Let's continue. Is that the baby squirrel's home? Hmm, it sounds like chittering. Oh wait, that's a bird's nest. Let's look somewhere else. Is that the baby squirrel's home? There's a chittering sound coming from inside the nest. Look, there's the mother squirrel. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Goodbye, little friend. We did it. We found the baby squirrel's home. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! We found a baby plantain squirrel in our garden. We learned that plantain squirrels sound like birds when they chitter and that they are amazing tree climbers. So we went to the forest and brought it back home to its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. <laughs>